When there's conflict, there's a better way to resolve it than resorting to violence. Homicide numbers are outpacing the previous year in Winston-Salem. The violence is keeping officers away from their families and their chief, who you just heard from there, is frustrated. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordeen. He used the word staggering when talking about the number of shots fired at Happy Hill Park over the weekend. A 21-year-old woman died. Four other people were injured. Fox 8's Madison Forsey is outside the Trinity Moravian Church on East Bragg Street, where a group is gathering tonight to take action. Yeah, the pastor tells me that he planned this community conversation with Police Chief William Penn and other Winston-Salem City Council members before the shooting at Happy Hill Park happened on Saturday night. The goal is to get community input on how to curb this violence. I talked to a few people who live in the area today that say they're thinking about coming to advocate for more officers on their streets. <laughs> of gunshots and people running for their lives. A pop up block party at Happy Hill Park turned violent in an instant Saturday night. I noticed uh, it's a lot of commotion. I noticed people looking and it was I think a fight broke out up under the uh, picnic area. Mm -hmm. And from that moment, I already knew it was time to go because a fight with all these guns out here only going to go left. Trayvon Graham was one of around 200 people who attended the party. He ran away as officers got to the scene. They, they heard that kind of gunfire and immediately went back in and, and, and went and was tending to victims as the gunfire was still going on. People in the community call Happy Hill a positive place. They worry people from the outside might change it. And I just think it's sad that we can't come together and have a good time without the violence, without the guns, without the fighting. And I'm sure nobody intended for that to happen. Chief William Penn says the community can now expect to see more officers. I want the folks who live in the areas of the parks to understand they can call the police before shots rang out. His team is talking about putting up cameras in different parks across the city. Even with the extra eyes, he says people need to speak up. It's over 200 people on that scene. I wish we had 200 phone calls telling us what happened. Investigators are still working to determine if the victims were the intended targets. The chief also says it's too early to know if the event organizer will face any charges. We'll stay on top of those developments and bring them to you as we get them. As for this community conversation happening here at Trinity Moravian Church, it kicks off at 630. We'll bring you more about this conversation coming up on the Fox 8 News at 7. In Winston-Salem, Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News. Madison, thank you. The Winston-Salem Police Department will be holding a community forum Wednesday night at 6 o'clock at the Central Library on 5th Street. This is part of National Crime Victims Rights Week. The forum features local agencies offering support to victims and their families as well as survivors of various crimes. Again, that's happening Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Central Library. Well,